Bridges crossing over water, or what I call big earth wrinkles, have probably been around since those wrinkles were just earth's fine lines. Some bridges are simple. Some are masterful works of engineering. But for many, the beauty of bridges was discovered when quaint bridges became covered. From the bridges of Madison County to the bogs of Sleepy Hollow, covered bridges have captured the hearts and imaginations of Americans for centuries. To learn more about these magical structures, curator Jim Johnson and I hop to Surrey. I love a Surrey with the fringe on yeah, the top. Doesn't get better than this. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry. To visit the historic Ackley Covered Bridge, not from Oklahoma. This one was built in southwestern Pennsylvania. This one was built in 1832. We believe it to be tied for six oldest in the country. And, and these figure in literature and pop do. culture. And all of that, all, all the mystique, all the charm, all the picturesqueness is all kind of an unintended consequence because the whole point of putting a building over the bridge is to protect what we're seeing now, which is the truss work. Building a covered bridge in the 1800s was a difficult task. It took a village, literally. The history we know of the bridge is over 100 people were involved in constructing it. So amongst that group would have been stonemasons for these embutments. There would have been timber framers who would have framed out. Sawyers would have sawn the, the rough lumber. Covered bridges made it possible to cross rivers and lakes by horse-drawn carriages and cars. Today, fewer than 1,000 of them remain. I'd like to understand the structure more. Sure, let's go, let's go have a look. These nails are pretty prominent. These are pretty large hand-cut nails that are used to attach the decking to the stringers below. And what are these marks? So this is the work of the people that did the finished shaping. So these are, are both broad axe and then an adze, which was a kind of a curved bladed tool that would allowed the perfect shape of the squaring off of the beam. Okay, so Jim, what are we seeing here? What's the big one? So this, this is part of what we call the truss system. In this case, this is a very early and simple design. This is known as a king post truss. If you look closely, you see that this is all held together with pegs. A truss is the interconnected framework of beams, usually in the shape of a triangle that holds a bridge up. There's a whole lot of geometry up there. There is, yes. It all looks a little rough hewn, but it's also really precise. It's, it is, it's actually a beautiful artwork is what it is. Beautiful above the water, but underneath, it's a whole different story. I think bridges as a whole are sort of troll territory, but covered bridges would have been far more desirable, I think. Trolls? They really need a troll booth. You're right, exactly. Right? Yeah. Trolls that pay tolls. Now that's my kind of fairy tale ending.